It's time for day six of the 2023 Swimming World Championships. Things kick off with the finals of the women's 100 free as Molly O'Callaghan wins gold in a 52-16. Sabon Hahi gets the silver and Mart Steenberg in the bronze. That gold makes Molly O'Callaghan the first woman and third swimmer ever to sweep both the 100 and 200 freestyles at a world championships. In the semis in the men's 100 fly, Dari Rose takes the number one spot as we see six men under 51 seconds. In the women's 200 back semis, Peng Zhui takes the top seed with the expected gold medal contenders Reagan Smith and Kayla McEwen just behind. The semis of the men's 50 free see Cam McAvoy continue his massive resurgence as he takes the top seed. Also of note, Ryan Held tied for ninth, but then Josh Liendo scratched the event to focus on the 100 fly. Ryan Held won his swim off and will also be swimming in the finals. In the finals of the women's 200 breast, Tantajana Schumacher returns to the podium, but this time one spot higher as she wins gold in a 220-80. Kate Douglas, just 45 minutes removed from the 100 free, surges over the very end of the race to get the silver with Tess Schutten in the bronze. In the finals of the men's 200 back, Hubert Koch pulls the upset as he wins gold over Ryan Murphy in a 154-1. Murphy maintains second and Ramon Michikov finishes third. In perhaps the least surprising part of the day, Sarah Shorson takes the top seed in the semis of the women's 50 fly with the fourth fastest time ever, as well as a casual reminder that she's still the only woman under 25 seconds in that event ever. The men's tuna breast final sees history made twice as Jin Haiyang blasts a new world record of 205.48 to win gold. This win also means that Jin has now won all three breaststroke distances, which makes him the first man to ever do so. Now former world record holder Zach Stubbledicook gets the silver and fellow back halfer Matt Fallon earns the bronze. The men's 800 free relay was a very exciting race and quite close all the way through. Duncan Scott got things started for the heavily favored Brits. Matt Richards then pulls them into a lead, but Carson Foster actually outsplits the world champion, bringing the US into it as well. On the third leg, Jake Mitchell slightly outsplits James Guy, bringing the Americans even closer. However, on the final leg, despite a very strong split from Kieran Smith, Tom Dean rips a 143.8 to bring the Brits home to a gold medal in a 659.08. This performance does propel the US to second, and Australia gets the bronze. That is all for day six of these world champs. We only have two days left, so let's see what is left in the tank.